so much for being here. Francis Fox time. First of all, I'm going to be cleaning up my first Francis Fox and I will put timestamp in the description if you want to skip this part to the update of the Fusarium infected Francis Fox, my 2.0, which is showing some signs and I think I would like to update you on that one. So, first of all, let's clean her up. She is starting a new growth and that also equates new roots. And I want to get this back nasty part off. And let's have a look, see how she's doing. I hope you're all doing well, having a great summer. And for those of you who are watching and are in the midst of winter, know that it's not that far away. If it's any comfort at all, your time is coming soon and we shall be here like, oh no, it's getting cooler and yuck, but yeah. I just hope everybody's doing great. And your orchids are doing great. Okay, we've got some resistance. Oh, uh, that's the microfiber, all right, goody. Right, not too shabby, not too, oh, there's a mealybug, get you out of the way. Ha, take care of that one, that was easy. Yeah, because the new roots are growing, I mean, I could have left it for another year, but seeing as the back part is deteriorating quite fast, I want to get it off. The leaves have dropped. There's no need for that. So just give it a clean up, new roots, new growth. And let's assess the situation in the rhizome. Seeing as this was the Francis Fox that I bought and she was a very, very sorry little piece. And then suddenly I buy myself a replacement and that's the worst one of the lot. And she took off, sort of. Now, what am I seeing here? Let me get you into position so that you can, if you're still here, watch this process, see what is going on here. It's very interesting. You see the back part here, clearly there's dead, but I have to be careful. I can't just go in all ninja because I have some roots in the coming out from the front, growing towards the back and they are branching. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful than I thought I could be. <laughs> Oh well, let's, let, let's try and be a little bit more careful and not go all radical. Yeah, she was very, very poorly when I got her. So I got my 2.0 and it turns out that one was infected with Fusarium. But now this has deteriorated super quickly after she finished blooming. And I would like to take it off all the way to here. All these little guys, I want those off. So let's get in there. Let's see if we can't poke up some of that leca, seeing as they're not really holding on to any live roots. They should not pose that much of a resistance because there's something to be said about inorganic growing and cutting into a rhizome. <laughs> it's not a good idea to have leca in between the secateurs and the rhizome where you want to cut. Have I cleared enough space? Yes, right there. I want to go in all the way. Let's get rid of the moss. Summer will be coming to an end and I don't need that to do any damage over the winter. See, also already thinking ahead for the season changes. So yeah, is that an eye? No, that's a root. We're gonna go in here. Let's have a look. Not that I'm paranoid. <laughs> It's been that kind of an August. There's always a little bit of something there, right? There's always a little bit of something. Okay, I know what to do. I'm going to get out my Fysan soak and soak the orchid in Fysan 20. This is the front piece.
me up. We are going to soak her. If in doubt, soak. Let's clean her up first. Francis Fox roots appear dead, but you see it's branching, but it's also kinked at the base. So I'm taking it off. And I'm going to make sure that I get my microfiber out here by forfeiting it because roots have gotten straight through and they're still good and my roots are more important than the microfiber, which I have a lot of. It is actually an old mop. No, let me correct that. It is a brand new mop <laughs> that I cut up and put into strips and made it into my microfibers. That's what those are. You can also get the proper wicking material, the cotton from Amazon. I don't have a link to that, but it is possible. It can be done. I just go the cheap route and bought myself mops. See how dead these roots look? And then look at the branching. So I'm not going to be fooled by a visual. And even though these look brown and nasty, they are super firm. So I'm not even going to clean up anymore. I'm just gonna get my Faisan soak out as a preventative measure, just in case this repot will trigger any kind of stress, letting any possible fusarium take over. We have come this far with this orchid. I'm not gonna risk it. My intention here now is to document this color right here before the Faisan and after the Faisan. So that's why I'm just zooming in on it one more time because in other videos I have not been successful because traces were so minute. But previously when I wasn't focusing on it, I saw a difference after the Faisan. So I'm going to do this again. For those of you that have seen my other videos, I apologize for the repeat. But I do want to one day be able to say, look, can you see the difference? So that's what I'm doing here right now. And in you go, 20 minutes. Well, <laughs> that was close. I was about to just dunk my Francis Fox straight into the solution. I forgot all about the new growth. So off camera, I propped up the pot it's gonna go into so that the rhizome is in the water and the majority of the roots, but I saved my new growth. That was close. Right, let's have a look, see if I can show you what I think I always see and have never actually been able to document. A change in color after Fusarium soap with Faisan. Yeah, I'm not convinced, but I promise you it happens. It does happen. I don't want to ever have a case where I can really prove it to you, to be honest with you, because I'm quite fed up with this Fusarium debacle that I'm going through right now. Anywho, what we're going to do is pot her up. Meanwhile, my pot was also sterilized, disinfected, etc. So that was a good thing. And then we're going to go on to the other cuttings. Let's hope she's happy now. I can only hope that I've done the right thing. I put her into a much smaller pot with a lot of small leka around her. So if anything happens next year, we're gonna be repotting her and bumping her up. But it's been a long journey for this piece and she has come out a trooper. And I hope that with the Faisan soak that if there was any hint of anything inside of her, that that would give her the boost and we don't have to worry about this one anymore. Now, I'm gonna clear my table. I'm gonna bring out the infected one and show you the progress on those pieces. Here we are. This is the back part. 
And surprise, surprise, it was the part that actually started to throw out a new growth before the second piece did. Look at this. It has lost all the leaves. It is really absorbing now the back bulbs as well. And that only just started when the roots started to grow. Up until then, everything was in place while the new growth was trying to get established. We are getting new roots, but you can see black root tips. So if this orchid is going to make it, that would surprise me quite a bit because blackening root tips is not a good thing. We need those roots to grow and they are not progressing. I have one root progressing quite nicely as long as it's up in the air, but the treatment around the base is probably also a culprit for those black root tips. But anyway, there's that little new growth. Everything's getting absorbed, honestly. I don't think it's gonna make it. There's only so much left in the reserves right here, and then it's bye-bye. Unless I can keep that root hydrated, this little one is probably really fighting hard, but I don't have much to work with. It was a surprise to even see a growth coming out of the back end, because when I divided it, <laughs> there was no eye. But anyway, the front piece, let me be a bit careful here. Look at this. The front piece is going nuts with new growths. I have three. One, two, three new growths on the front piece. Really taking the energy out of the bulb that didn't bloom, but really absorbing that a lot. We've got new roots coming. The question being, is it going to hold, be able to hold on, have enough energy? And then in the back here, still got a leaf. And I've got new roots with this growth. It's possible that it's going to be all right because of this whole bit of storage that has as yet to be absorbed. So that is the current status on the back pieces of the infected Francis Fox. I'm keeping them in my ICU setup with the hob filter material and I make sure that there's always a little bit of water in the base just so that the humidity goes up, not soaking or anything like that, just making sure that they stay nice and humid down there. And we'll see what happens if these roots extend and go down into the hob material if they are going to be able to make it or not. I can't really predict anything with this piece. There's too much going on. It could collapse at any minute as fast as the other piece did, simply because of three new growths. But dang, you got to give it to this orchid. It's trying. Really appreciate your time. Hope that this was of interest. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any, any questions, then please let me know in the comments below. I'll be very happy to try and elaborate further or answer them in a video. So if you have a request video, let me know. I've done quite a few Fossarium videos now. It's getting, like I said, a little bit old, but I'm gonna keep documenting these. They would have been in the bin from jump if I didn't have a channel. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.